Hey, welcome back everybody. In this episode here, I'm trying something a little different, doing a voiceover. As you can tell, I don't have my uh, chest mount, I don't have uh, the body armor on. In the summer, it's just too hot. Uh, the, uh, you know, the, the weather is very humid and extremely hot. It's like 90, 91 degrees, uh, real feel probably in the hundreds. So, uh, not, not really in the mood to, uh, to be, uh, out here. So, but I'm going to try something a little different. It's going to be a lot of time warping, time lapse, slow motion. And so, uh, since I don't have my chest mount with me, um, the reason that's the reason I'm doing the voiceover. So I'll be doing a lot of commentary talking about, you know, how I'm deciding to do the different sequences of footage in the video. I'll be adding probably some background music just so you don't get too bored with my voice. And so I got uh, two cameras, the Insta360 one, uh, you see one mounted on my helmet and the other one mounted on the handlebar. Now on the one with the handlebar, I get two views. I get one going front, which you see here, I'm time warping. Now that That's another transition, a zoom and a zoom out as I uh, show you regular speed. I, I do slow-mo just a little bit. Uh, that'll be coming up, so watch out for that. Uh, but I'll do a lot of, uh, you know, changing the uh, speed, fast forwarding. So this original ride was about 45 minutes and it's basically reduced down to like uh, like 15 minutes or something like that. So not too bad. Pretty good if you ask me. So uh, I had a different uh, view. The one on my helmet, I originally had uh, just a straight view like direction lock so you can see what I'm basically seeing as I turn my head left to right as I check for any uh, lawnmowers coming this way sometimes there's lawnmowers that cut the grass back here so I gotta watch out for that and as I'm riding the other option uh, that I had the other footage was from the helmet again the, the helmet mount and it was looking down at the handlebars and, and the, at the ground, but 45 minutes of of doing that, uh, it just didn't, uh, the NC361 just didn't work out, so I just left that footage out. In another video, I will have that, though. So here I'll be making a transition, rider view, and then helmet view right here, and you can see the, looking at traffic got kind of busy right here I got caught in the middle I'm waiting for more traffic and especially you can see some other people riding their bikes or rollerblading I'm not sure what it is a little bit of both I guess so back to rider view and then zoom transition zoom into uh, time lapse here with motion blur and this is kind of interesting with the Insta360, uh, Insta360 1x you can do that in the app uh, I have the Insta360 One. Uh, you can do this just doing a regular, uh, doing your regular thing, and then of course uh, changing the timing in your video editor and adding motion blur, which you see here. So it kind of gives you that feeling of, you know, uh, traveling through space in a in a, in a time of some kind of time warp. Uh, sensation which uh, that's kind of what I do here and so I do this to kind of speed up the time and then as I warp out here's my slow-mo showing me doing the right hand gesture right hand turn gesture going back to normal speed I'll be doing that on and <laughs> very fre frequently actually and back to time warp uh, making this particular video was was really fun actually. I enjoyed uh, the different uh, transitions like you see the transition there as I transitioned from uh, the helmet mount and back into time warping. 
with I, th I think motion blur as well and I try to keep the uh, time lapse to like anywhere from 10 seconds and here's my slow-mo back again right hand turn signal look at that I'm looking good isn't that awesome all right back to regular speed so it's it's more of a adventure making this uh, video you could turn a normal bike ride into uh, an adventure you know when you're presenting a video about it uh, thank goodness for you know technology and video editing and here I'm mostly going through normal speed here with the helmet mount just looking forward one of the things I try really hard is to keep the horizon level you know at horizontal you know not have it tilt too much um, sometimes it adds a little bit of like motion but I, I really want to try to keep it level and that's why you see me transition from rider view helmet mount to uh, handlebar mount facing forward and, and doing time warping and because uh, I didn't have my chest mount and I didn't have audio uh, the Insta 361 does have audio but it just makes too much wind noise so here I'm going on the decomposed granite trail so time warping again saving a lot of time and the handlebar mount does really well keeping things pretty level you know you're not going to get too much motion sickness here and you can see the bag kind of uh, kind of really add to the sensation of riding a bike so I'm glad that there is a bag up front with the front rack and here I'm headed up the levee <laughs> and taking the levee so a little detour there the motion blur really adds to it the the time lapse changing the the, the clip speed and adding motion blur really adds to the effect of it and then i'll be zooming doing a transition zoom to uh oh no take that back i did a um what was that slide transition from top to bottom or bottom to top and i caught the train so the red rover is fast enough to catch the train to look at anyway i don't know about actually uh catching a train or being faster than a train so stop by to watch the trains go by didn't watch all of it go by I don't have that much time and the interesting part is I during this whole time I I did uh, I did capture every the telemetry data and so the telemetry data matches up with the footage even when I um, increase the speed and do the slow-mo and everything I think it was uh, two almost two hours of telemetry data along with the video footage and here I am time warping you know getting going and saving some time with just the, the riding footage here and I'm into the forest and transitioning back and forth here so I'm transitioning back and forth as I go into some you know bright areas I use the fade to white and then transition to zoom and then get to time warp I don't motion blur because the speed clip is not that fast and I'm in the forest I kind of want to give you that nice feeling of being in the forest and uh, I'll transition zoom again when I get into darker areas and transition out of it when I get back in transition to fade to white I'm doing a lot of these transitions because when you're in the forest especially with the Insta 361 
sometimes you get flares when you get out into the open and then when you get into shaded area it gets very dark so to kind of hide that in a creative way yeah I use these transitions which I think it worked out very well and then I also use a slide from top to bottom to kind of give you a transition from handlebar mount to helmet mount so I'm looking down and at the Brazos River there. You can see a lot of it, is, it was washed away, but it used to be a, a steeper cliff. But it's uh, almost kind of kind of building up a little bit. So I'm back to back to a little speed speed clip here. Fast forward here a little bit. Another transition. I do a lot of these transitions, especially in the forest, just because there's just dark areas and blown out, you know, highlighted areas. So to kind of, again, mask that in a creative way and, and also try to show like you're going into a dark area and you're coming out of a dark area, going in, into a bright area or out of a bright area, use fade to white and, and uh, the zoom transition. Alright, so I'm doing a lot of these transitions again, as you can see, and uh, speed up the clip just a little bit, but not too much. I'm trying to save time as well, you know, it's a 45 minute video turned into essentially a 15 minute video. And here's the other lookout, looking over the Brazos River. And I think I do a transition. Oh no, I just cut, just cut right into the head mounted view. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, you know, just trying to do something a little different. And of course, I'll be adding some background music to all of this. So I start off slow and then eventually we'll warp into speed here. And this is uh, fast forward again, but without the motion blur because for, I did want to show a lot of the trees without being blurred out too much. And you'll see why here. You know, I'm not going that fast on the decomposed granite trail here, but I eventually get to the street and then that's when I basically uh, engage into warp drive here there we go now I, I got motion blur I'm at a faster <laughs> faster pace here I increase the speed by probably a thousand and then zoom out and go into a slow-mo where again look at that right hand signal using my right hand some people you know say use your left hand and you know you the way you're supposed to like you're riding a motorcycle but you're on a bike I mean anyways when I turn right I use my right hand yep. back to warp speed And, and I'm surprised the front mount, oh, here I go. It looks like I'm waving at that person, but I'm actually not waving at that person. I'm making a right hand signal here. But I'm surprised that the, um, the handlebar mount is probably the most stable. Uh, second to that, maybe the chest mount, but the chest mount, you know, when you do sharp turns, the, uh, the horizon tends to turn a little bit 
and then the helmet mount is probably the third but the but the bike mount the handlebar mount is is probably the most stable that's why i like using it for for this kind of footage here when i do my uh, fast forward time warp motion blur kind of thing there we go we make a transition slide to give you the head view head mounted view so i look around traffic And I, I like the stability of the Insta 361 for doing that. It's not very jerky. Um, it's very smooth. So between the different footage, you know, the handlebar mount looking forward, you know, it got really busy here for some reason, a lot to look at, but the handlebar mount looking forward, the handle mount handlebar mount looking at the rider and then um, you also have the helmet mount which I really had two views but I couldn't get the second one but looking forward looking down the handlebar you can see part of the visor oh that's my only left hand signal and I kind of turn my hand to kind of show it blinking even look the other way look at that it takes a lot of skill to do that All right, so slowly make it to the clubhouse. Clubhouse is like home base for me. You know, they have granola bars, pretzels sometimes, water, ice. Uh, if I'm up to it, I might even go out to the fitness center. The fitness center is attached to the clubhouse. I might actually go work out there. All right, so this concludes this episode. Uh, I'll have another one. Of the ride back home doing the same style hopefully you'll enjoy that one when it comes out or if it does come out please watch it so uh, until next time everyone uh, please like share subscribe leave a comment until next time everyone bye